Hello good people and welcome to Excel Hacks for Productivity. One trick, two minutes to learn hours saved every day. In this short video, we'll learn how to do a lookup using grouped numbers. So I have a grading table here. As you can see, if I score between 0 and 29, I get an E and so on. My goal is to use a formula to assign the correct grade to these scores. I can achieve this using a VLOOKUP formula. VLOOKUP looks for a value in the leftmost column of a lookup table. This will be my lookup table, but I will create a helper column to the left of my original data. This helper column will help me use a VLOOKUP. The helper column will contain the minimum points at each level of my group data. So 0 in the first instance, 30 in the second one, 40. At this point, Excel knows my trend so I can use flash fill to complete. So this is my helper column. So I will name this main score. Now when I come to my formula, the first one I start with VLOOKUP. The first requirement is the lookup value, which is this score here. It's relative, so I will not lock it. My table array begins from A and ends at C13. This I am going to lock because I want it fixed as I go down. And then my column index number is where my result will come from. So I'll choose column 3, which is the third column counting from left. If you are using VLOOKUP, this is 1 two and three so I choose three and then because I'm using group data and ranges I'm going to choose approximate match this approximate match makes it possible to look up for the largest value in your help column which is less than your lookup value so 45 is caught between 40 and 55 this option will make it revert to 40 and then give me C which is basically what I'm looking for so if you look up look up value my table array column number and approximate match once I have this I can copy this down and I have my result so please practice and add it to your list of Excel tricks for more videos please visit our YouTube channel Excel Hacks for Productivity or our Facebook page, Excel Hacks for Productivity. Thank you and have a wonderful day.